So sure, let's just check flexion. Is this hurt already? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's okay. She was rather guarded. Is, is this the, all the flexion you have? Mm -hmm. I can kind of tell she's going to have a lack of extension because <laughs> in lying, this is what my mentor used to say in terms of like anterior posterior pelvic tilt. He's like, boy, you could drive a Volkswagen through that tunnel. And that's what I think about this. <laughs> I wouldn't say that out loud, but you can kind of tell she might be lacking extension on this side. So soft end feel there as expected. Easiest knee test in the world. Check for terminal knee extension. I like to make sure, again, respecting the hip anatomy and tibial uh, and femoral torsions, as long as someone doesn't have a, uh, a major genu varus or valgus that is structural deformity, I like to have the toes facing straight up. I'm going to apply a A to P pressure on the distal femur, but don't be a jerk. Don't do the worst special tests in the world. What's the worst special test in the world? Clark first. Is that uh, patellar ground test? Oh, yes, patellar yeah. ground test. See, why do you call it Clark? Who's Clark? Some just some egotistical dude. Patellar <laughs> ground test. Like Tanel was like some dude who just went around poking people where it hurt. It hurts my wrist. Does this hurt? Yeah, I told you it hurt. Why are you poking me there? Don't do patellar grind. So I'm above the patella, and all I want to do is just passively measure extension, and you know that that could be better too. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> what I want is the heel to lift up at least this high. So we could also work on that. Is there any issues on this side or only this side? Um, both sides patellofemoral pain. So knee pain? Yeah. Yeah, knee pain. <laughs> Just knee pain. What did you say? What was that? I don't understand. Knee pain? Okay, yeah, yeah I get that. <laughs> you guys can clearly see I have no problem talking to someone zero, right? A PT once came to see me for, he was a marathoner. He's getting like, I don't know, some kind of sharp cartilage injections and he was told he should never run again. He had hip issues. He met all the patterns. His hip, though, was so restricted, no matter what I did, I even needled it because I needle PTs. I just don't charge them for it or document it because I'm practicing. Um, cleaned up everything else but his hip. And I just gave him all this information, all this pain side stuff, all these self resets. And his wife's like, what did he say was wrong with you? He's like, you know what? He just talks so much. I kind of forgot. <laughs> but he came in with all these like preconceived notions of diagnoses and people were like, what do you do for this? I'm like, I don't know. I really don't have problems with patients asking me these questions. I think they just want to get out of there. <laughs> They're happy they have a solution. They're like, man, I can't wait till this guy stop talking. <laughs> but it's not a problem for me. Hang on. If I can educate people out of their stop thought viruses, you can too. But pain science, trust me, I've come back from pain sciences or a course like this and a lot of the ways I explain things might be different. But if you'd like the ways I explain things, it's an art. You know, when I tell people pain science is an art and using modern manual therapy explanations is an art, it's an art like comedy is an art. Comedians bomb all the time and I love Seinfeld, but Seinfeld pr still, he still practices, he still goes in front of audiences with new material and he bombs. You know, and it's hard to go back and be like, man, person just told us a hilarious story about Mrs. Jones and with the knee x-ray and everything. You try to sell the same story and you stumble all over it because it's not yours. Comedians practice their craft. Comedians do it to be hilarious. You're not just going to immediately go back. At least the majority of you won't be able to go back and just explain the same exact way I did. It takes practice, right? Just like anything else. So let's look at this. Hmm. What happened there with your quad? It's a twitch response. Yeah. Does that hurt? No, I was expecting it to, though. <laughs> oh, so that was you guarding. It could have been, Okay, because yeah. I kind of felt her quad snap underneath my hand. All right, so...